from Hollywood, it's the, 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 the Tom Likas Show. I want it now. And now. And now. Here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No! Not even a pill-popping wacko. I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1 800 5 800 TOP. 1 800 5 800 866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. The Tom Likas Show, brought to you in part by HR Block. You got people at a crossfade. For an office near you, call 1 800 HR Block. Or visit hrblock.com. We didn't have time to edit one of those together, did we? Unbelievable. <laughs> People know about all our production issues on the air. It's great. Not enough music to, to fit in the billboard. Oh, yes. Anyway, here we are. It's Lagos 101, the ongoing on-air adult education course that teaches men how to get more tail for less money. Just as importantly, we teach women how men think at 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Hernan on the Tom Likas Show, hello. Hello there. Yes. There, Tom. Yes. I want to know just a couple of things. Are you Jewish? Come on, don't give me that stare. Don't give me that look. <laughs> is, is, is this a trick question? No, it's not. It's just because... Uh, you're telling everybody that they should sleep around and, like, basically what's coming out of your mouth is basically, and you know it's true, it's nonsense, because you show no fear of the Almighty. Ah, so I must be a Jew. Well, I just asked you. You didn't say nothing. Well, I'm waiting. I'm waiting to hear your anti-Semitic rant, and I thought you were going to continue with that. I'm, I'm Jewish myself, so. No, you're not. Oh, I'm not? And actually, no. the word is Hebrew, not Jewish. You know that. You're not. You're not even close. All right. Hey, come on, don't lie to me. Lying is a sin, you know that, right? Doesn't mean you wouldn't do it. If I had fear of God, I wouldn't do it. Why would I lie to you? Believe me, you'd lie to me. Well, my question is, why are you telling everybody to sleep around when you know the Father commands us not to? Well, because, number one, I'm an atheist. I don't submit to your fairy tale character called the Father, okay? Uh, there is no such person. <laughs> and the, <laughs> and therefore, I don't submit to, to the fictional writings called the Bible. I just don't. Wait a minute. Who said anything about the Bible? I read the Torah. I don't care about the Torah either. To me, it's all fiction. It's all fiction. Have you ever been in a situation of life and death? A situation of life and death? Where your life was at risk, where you almost lost yes, your life? Yes, yes, I was. What was the first and, Yeah, thing? I'm going to tell you what it was. I, I was on against a 50,000-watt clear channel AM radio station, and I was on a 5,000-watt station with seven directional towers and no signal at night. And I'm willing to And know, I had to beat to them bet. in the ratings, and I did. And I'm willing to bet, and I usually don't say this bet, but a figure of speech, i got to go down to your, you know, to your frequency and talk to what you Down talk. to my frequency? Yeah. Yes. Which frequency are you coming from? 107 points was well, something else? Well, you, <laughs> we're in, uh, you know, our frequency. You have to come down to our frequency. Well, you know what I mean. The, the point is that... No, I really don't. Okay, well, let me explain. A man, if your intellect or none, you would uh, think <laughs> that uh, you would uh, be more uh, articulate. Okay. Anyway, you know the first thing that came out of your heart was, oh, my God. You know? Why do people say that when it comes to life and death? You know, when there's nothing else left, why is it that just people say, oh, my Almighty? God, when they're watching a funny video on YouTube? No, no, no. You know what I mean. You're just in denial. The reason you're upset, you've had four lousy marriages and you blame women. Well, you are a regular women. listener, are you? You're our, you're our biggest customer. I'm a biggest customer. You're no, our I'm biggest customer. You, I don't want you to go to Shaul. I don't want you to go to hell, you know, because that's where you're heading. No matter how much money you have. Is that so? You were not born Jewish, were you, son? Yes, I was. No, you weren't. 
Okay, if you say so. No, you weren't. You're telling me what I what I did. Yeah, so I am. Profit then, right? I, and you're not a traditional Jew either. You're one of those lobometers or something like that, aren't you? No, no, no. I'm Yahudi. I'm Messianic. Do you even know what Messianic means? Uh, I, I have no idea. And, and by the way, uh, don't don't care. Yes, he wants to turn the show into sermonette. one 800 800 tom I am your professor. Let's say hello here to uh, Tony on the Tom Likas show. Hey, Tom, how you doing, Tom? How you doing? I'm doing great. Tom, I got a little situation. This is Tony life, here, Tom. and Tony, he got a question. I got a question, Tom. Uh, you know what? Let me let me just tell you something. I, I got divorced maybe about eight months ago, seven, eight months ago. I've been bringing girls over to my house, and I kind of like it. And, and I've been thinking about, I mean, there's this one I'm getting serious with. And, why and, uh, Why do you need to be serious in a serious relationship? Because I like how they clean my house. I like how they put my kids' clothes away. Hire like a maid. A maid is cheaper. Really? Yes. See, I mean, I get. I have done. Around. By the way, I've had both. I've had a maid. I've had a wife. Right. A maid is cheaper. You know, sometimes I mean, it, it get kind of expensive. I looked into that, and uh, I mean, I can't afford a maid. I mean, this girl. Do you know how much? You know? Do you know how much she's going to cost you? I mean, I'm wearing a condom, so she's not going to cost me very much unless she comes. If she, me. <laughs> you're going to marry her. You said. No, or move I in with her. her. I just want her to move in and kind of keep my house organized and, and have a warm dinner when I get home. Right. But do you uh, understand? Let, let's review. Now, there's something about this woman that you haven't told us. You haven't told us about her two uh, pieces of baggage that she carries everywhere she goes. Tell us about that. Yeah, well, she 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 she's not a part of that. She let those kids go, and she left to leave with the dad. That took custody of them. Mm-hmm. So she must be a real winner if she couldn't get custody of her own kids. <laughs> but if she's great around the house, and she's great in bed, Tom. But again, I'm telling you, you will be paying. If she moves in, who's going to pay the rent? I'll make you get a part-time job if I have to. Oh, yeah. Good luck on that. Really? And once she moves in, as I told you, letting a woman move in is like uh, oh, running the Roach Motel. You know, the roaches move in, but they can't move out. You know, that's what happened to me at first. At first, I was, you're right about that, because I was trying to get her out the first couple of days. That's and, how it is. And she just came to my house unexpected, and I mean, it just kind of blew me away. But then she came more often, and she started cleaning my house and doing my laundry. and, and making Because she wants to get into your home. And believe me, once she gets in there, the amount of housework will decline. You will be paying her expenses. And on top of that, she'll want you to marry her. And you won't be able to get her out because you'll be running the Roach Motel. So that's a bad idea, then. It's always a bad idea. If you want a maid, if you want a maid, hire one. Or get a second job to pay for it. What if I just use her to come clean my house and then just use her once a week? She will have the keys to your pl mouth or on the air. Sorry. Uh, well, yeah, that's that's what I'm calling. I mean, I'm just, you know, I like the way she cleans. I like the way she... You like the way she cleans? <laughs> I mean, I get home, I have a clean house. You like the way she cleans the pipe? <laughs> <laughs> that, too. You know, and the uh, other infrastructure of the house. I mean, that's one thing I like about her is that she makes me my lunch. She... I mean, Again. I get home and... And everything is there, and dessert is great. Oh. Don't you understand that this is like, have you ever been in, like, Las Vegas, and they got those girls there uh, out on the street with big buckets of, like, Marlboros and other cigarettes? They go, free cigarettes? You want some free cigarettes? Yes, I, yes, I see them. Right. And how many people who smoked those first couple of Marlboros they got for free? How many people end up spending five, six, seven, eight dollars a pack for Marlboros later on? Right. Right. Uh, think of uh, her coming over doing housework as little packs of Marlboros. <laughs> oh, wow. She's doing it now. 
until she gets in. Well, by the way, why did the ex-husband bounce her? She couldn't even get custody of her kids. I bet she's a real pip. Uh, but why did the ex-husband bounce her? You know what? I I guess she, she didn't hire a lawyer. She was representing herself. And, that is not the, that you're not answering the question I asked. I guess. I didn't ask why did she get a raw deal in her divorce. I asked why did the husband dump her. She blamed it on the husband. That's what she's telling me. Yeah. That he was he was this and the other and. Yeah. So did she explain why she chose a guy like that? She said they were with each other since they were young. Uh huh. They had a kid when they were fifteen. Uh huh. So then. You know, and you don't think she'll want to get pregnant again? Well, I'm, I'm using I'm using protection, Tom. I, I listen to you, but all she the time. is not. But I am. Is she? She's not, but I am. Do you know why she's not? That's why I use protection. Do you, just say it. Why is she not using birth control? Maybe she wants to get pregnant. Not maybe. Really? Women who don't use birth control want to have a baby. Wow. And I'm telling you, as a condom user, uh -huh. that no matter how faithful a condom user you are, sometimes one will slip. Sometimes one will leak. Sometimes you'll be with a woman who has been doing so many exercises with the Benoit balls that suddenly you find that it's missing. Let me ask you something, Tom. Another question here. It was I had relationships with this one girl, and she has a better job than me. She makes way more money. I made a mistake. I was intoxicated, and one thing led to another. By the end of the night, right. I had sex with her. And she's pregnant now, and what? No, she's not pregnant right now, but that came to mind right now when, when she said, and you just said that you're not using birth control. Why would she, I mean, I don't know. It's... They want to have a baby. Really? Really. Well, that's good to know. I mean, I, I, I got to get rid of her then because I don't, I mean, at the same time, I'm I'm seeing other people right now too, and it's, I'm living my single life, and I don't have to respond to anyone. You're dating other people. Why do you want somebody to move in? That's insane. I just thought of it. I just thought of it because I like it's the too she... good an offer. And I'm telling you, if it sounds too good to be true, it is. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'll let get to that, Tom, and I'm just gonna let her loose then, and and just keep on. Having sex with other people, then. Just don't be having sex. Any woman who tells you she's not using birth control, it's time to kick them out. That's good to know. That is good to know. Condoms are a backup. You should wear them 100% of the time, but they're a backup. I would definitely start asking before I go into bed with them. You need to know if they're using birth control, and they'll usually tell you. Well, how do you believe them? I mean, how do you? Oh, they usually. Them? By the way, they don't usually lie about. It. They usually say things like, "Well, don't you have a condom?" Then you have your answer. You know what? All the women I've been sleeping with—that's what they always ask me. For, right. I have a condom. Well, I mean, look. Somebody could ask you if you have a condom because they're afraid of getting HIV. I gotta understand that. Okay, but here's the deal: if. Uh, if you ask her if she's using birth control and her answer is, don't you have a condom? She's letting you know she's not using birth control. So I'm at risk right there. Yes. And that's where I have to stop him. This is how these poor losers who call the show all the time get nailed. Yes. Don't you understand that? I'm already getting nailed. You're getting nailed by who? By my ex. I didn't say you're getting mail. You're trained there. I think your train just arrived. Uh, I didn't say getting mail. I said getting nailed. Yeah. 
All right. You have a lot to think about, obviously. Tom Like It. 1 800 5800 Tom. 1 800 5800 866. Like It. Any guy out there who isn't single and is just kissing ass to his girlfriend right now needs to get with the program and DTB. It's Like It 101 on the Tom Like It Show. The Tom Likas Show. Likas 101. I am your professor at 1 800 5 800 Tom. It's Nick on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, what's up, professor? How you doing? I'm doing okay. I got a question for you. Um, I've been listening to your show for a long time, and um, I've been hearing that you're saying uh, having kids is wrong. Is that true? Well, I never said having kids is wrong. I said, uh, you but know. You are against having kids. Well, I happen to love children, but uh, I also believe that every child has a mother, and that mother is somebody you're going to be paying for the rest of your life. Okay, so you shouldn't have kids, right? Is that what I don't. Okay, so if everyone went by the way you're... Everyone won't, and everyone doesn't. There are plenty of poor and stupid people who will more than make up the difference. Okay, so but but you're saying the way you're thinking is right, and if everyone thought the right way, then there would be no more people on. The well, but no, that's that's years. not true because first of all, one hundred percent of the people never do what anybody says. Okay. Uh, secondly, uh, the fact is that uh, the ones who will take my advice will be the more intelligent among us, uh, the more uh, affluent among us, and uh, the ones who will not take my advice will be the poor and the dumb. Okay, so we're just gonna have. Uh... If we had more intelligent people around, then we wouldn't have any more kids. If your parents were intelligent, if your dad was intelligent, then you wouldn't be around. What? If your dad was intelligent, then you wouldn't be around. Well, maybe Adolf Hitler wouldn't be around. Maybe Saddam Hussein wouldn't be around. Yeah, but there's so many good people out there. I mean, we need people there around. There are plenty of bad people around, too. Yeah, so the answer to that is not having kids. I'm telling you that the bottom line here is that the poor and the dumb will more than make up the difference. I have no social responsibility to procreate. Yeah, that's that's absolutely right. But um, uh, your your father made a decision to have you, right? And it's a done deal. I'm here. That's that okay. end of story. So, so is he intelligent? Would you consider your father an intelligent? I would consider my father at best of average intelligence. Average intelligence, okay. And, and he so was, by the way, more importantly, he was poor. He was poor, okay. So only poor people should have kids and people... That's have but kids. that's who would be having kids if they understood all of the implications of having kids, especially having to pay some bitch for the rest of her life or your life. I mean, I'm totally, I'm totally cool with that. I mean, you don't have to be with uh, some bitch paying for her doing this, but... I mean, it's a simple concept. You know, you got to have kids past your genetics on. Wouldn't you want to have a little Tom Likas running around? No. Uh, no. Number one, no. Number two, there are, four, uh, there are four siblings in my family. Three of them have my DNA. The four of them, have, they, they all have my DNA. The children have my DNA as well. So what happens after uh, they, they all, uh, uh, after 100 years, there's no more people to pass on the word of Tom Likas. There's no one else. Well, why would I assume that any of my offspring would agree with what I say, much less pass on my words? Well, uh, parents should uh, teach their kids what... You um, can teach your kids whatever you want. There are plenty of kids who rebel against their parents. I would say it's the norm. Okay, well, um, all this wealth that you have that you talk about, I mean, that's cool. You're a capitalist. This is a capitalist society, but who's going to enjoy that after you're gone? I don't care. You know what? Here's who's going to enjoy it. People who are good to me during my life. Uh, okay. Charities I care about. All right, that sounds good. It's just, um, I think that people should have kids, but they shouldn't pay. Uh, maybe they shouldn't have uh, get married. I mean, you're right about that. Getting married is a totally wrong way of uh, living your life these days. But um, in terms of passing on your genetics, I mean, come on. I don't see passing on your genetics to be all that important. And uh, what makes uh, you think you're so perfect and wonderful that your genetics need to be passed on? I mean, I'm not perfect and wonderful. It's just that's the that's normal way of human existence. That's what's happened. Thousands of years. There were plenty of things that happened for years. You know, we had slavery for thousands of years. Just because that's it happened true. doesn't make it right. That's true, but um, um, if we're all right now, we all change and think the right way, then we're not going to have any kids. I mean, whatever. So. Those who don't have kids will be more well-off, financially well-off, 
Uh, they'll be able to do all the things they've dreamed of, whether it be going to school or traveling to different countries or owning a boat or whatever it is they want to do. They will never have to go to Disney World or Legoland on vacation. Okay. So I, I got a question for you, another question. I'm, I'm a young guy. I'm 20 years old. I got big dreams. I got, I'm, I'm, I'm doing my thing. So I shouldn't have kids right now? Is that what you're trying to right say? Right now, you definitely shouldn't have kids. What period? I shouldn't have kids, period, and I can't get what you have if I have kids? Is that what you're trying you to say? you have kids, it becomes a lot harder. A lot harder, but... Yes. Okay. But and and like most people, are like my father and others like him, who had dreams, but ultimately they had to scale back their dreams because they had kids. I mean, I, I think you're beating around the bush a little bit, Tom, because you're not telling me exactly what I want to hear you. I'm telling you, if you think everyone should think like you are. I don't think everyone will ever think the way I do. But that's what that's what the... I think anyone who is intelligent, anyone who is intelligent will see it my way. Would that be your ideal society of everyone thinking like you and uh, being... Everyone will never think the way I do. But would but would you would you think that's an ideal society? No. No? I uh, No, like, I do like diversity, and uh, the fact is I do like children. Yeah, I mean, you do like children, but you got to make children to like the children. No, I don't. I don't. I, I didn't make my nephew. My nephew is wonderful, fantastic. I love spending time with him. And when I'm done, um, I'm, I'm done for now, and then we see each other again sometime. Okay, so whoever has kids, you're going to look them in the eye. You're going to tell them that they're from mediocre intelligence and uh, they're not as... Uh, I don't have to tell them. It speaks for itself. They'll, they'll, they'll know, right? They'll feel it. speaks inferior. for itself. They'll feel inferior to Speaks you. for itself. Okay, Tom, I think, um, could you take me out Kobe style? Yes. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. You're a beat to my heart. Oh. You're there, I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Oh. 1-800-5-800-TOM, like us 101. I am your professor, Marcia. Hello. Hey, Tom. Hey, Marcia. Okay, so your opinions are based upon your experience with women, right? Everybody's opinions are based on their experience. Okay, well, the pictures... Including are yours. On, your inter on the internet? I think you're not... Uh, Johnny, I'm going to stop you right there. Everybody already knows what you're about to say. There's what? one wise-ass female every week who calls in and has your exact same script... And We've all heard it. Everybody who listens to the show has been to the heard. website. They've all seen my picture. They all know everything you're going to say because we've heard it before. What? You understand? I, I, oh, you I, want to cut me off because you don't... No, I, you know what? I want to cut you off because you're a big mouth bitch. And now I have. With nothing original to say. That's why I want to cut you off. Not because I'm afraid of you. I'll meet you in a dark alley any time, dear. You tell that to my face. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom is I'll bring Dean and his bat. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom is our telephone number. Jace, is that your name, Jace? Yes, sir. Jace. Hello, Tom. Hello, Jace. My father, my teacher, my brother. Yes. I got to talk to all my brothers out there real quick. You need to listen to our teacher, our father, our brother. Do not live with ladies. You might be able to have a girlfriend now and again. You shouldn't do that either. You don't live with them. It can only go wrong. And it generally does. Up here in the state of Washington, as I believe it, you move in with a girl, she gets a piece of mail, she has established residence, and she gets half of your nonsense. And I'm not sure if it's true, but it still doesn't matter. Don't do it, my brothers. Thank you, Jace. Appreciate the call. Checking in from the front. 1-800-5-800-TOM. It's Kim on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Tom. Hello? Yes. Yes. I am a 40-year-old Spanish woman. I'm a professional. So you're from... Wait, 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 wait. You're from Spain? My parents are. Your parents are from Spain. So you're an yes. American woman. 
I'm an okay American woman, forty years old. Go to the gym five times a week. Great. I am attracted. Um, men are attracted to me that are always younger, thinking I'm twenty five. So that kills the whole forty year old woman thing, and she gets really fat and ugly. That doesn't happen. No, no one said that. That one hundred percent of everybody is the same. There are exceptions to every rule. Even a broken clock is right twice a day. I have been listening to you for about a month, and every time I hear oh. you refer to women, I have heard you say all. I want to no, tell you, you I have not. Have you have not heard me money. say all. You have not. And in fact, I'll pay you ten thousand dollars if you can produce a tape or an exact transcript from a reliable source that I said that. I want to see it. Okay, fine. I have Where never used men for money. Do you have a tape? I have never. You okay, just said I think the, you know that I don't have a tape. Well, because because I never said any such thing. And do you think I'd offer you ten thousand dollars if I had? I don't know if you would or wouldn't, Tom. I, I just, just called to I'm, really make a point and really. Like, well, you'll you'll get to. Subject. I'll tell you what. Yeah, I'll decide what the subject is here, smart mouth. Do you understand that I'm the boss here, and that I will determine the pace of the conversation, and I will determine whether you ever get to the little point you want to make, and I may even decide to press the eject button and not let you finish. And I'm that's sure my prerogative would. as the host of this program. You are not going to tell me how to do the show. That's fine, Tom. Good. I know. Um, my problem is this. You oh, I have, think we know what your problem is, sister. I'll tell you what the problem is. You're a fake and a phony. I don't Prove believe it. half of what you said. Really? You zombies calling in. Half of what you're saying that you do, you don't do that. <laughs> you're a liar. I know you're a liar. How do you and know? You know I'm, I'm a liar. American men you know I'm a liar? To you, you know that's actionable. I, I have a good attorney. You, you said you know you I'm a liar. I want the proof. I want the proof right now. I you want it. Phony. Where's I the proof? You talk to women the way you talk to them outside of that show. It's a game to you. Oh, you think so, do you? I know for a fact. I, Tom, but, you couldn't but get with a, a With a trap like that, that ne the gums never stop her. flapping, with a you mouth that never shuts, what man would want to listen to this? What man could it. stand to listen to this? You're, you're, you're like a Tyler Perry movie calling in here. Are you kidding me? You are the worst example for The worst of the worst. Listen to this. And Just another sassy caller, another sassy over-the-hill female, never shuts up. Why would any man, why would any man sign up for a lifetime of this? Listen to this. Listen how it is. What's your husband's name? What is your husband's name? What is your husband's name? What is your husband's name? Your husband's name? Extremely bitter. What is your husband's Your husband's name is not uh, not applicable, correct? Oh, my husband's name is Aaron. Thank you very much. Aaron? We're extremely happy. Really? I, we have never yeah, I'd like to talk to him. Extremely happy. So we're love to talk to him. If he has to listen to this, I gar I guarantee you uh, he's not happy. I guarantee you he's You are delusional. Happy. If you believe that, he you're delusional. He I won't go so far to say you're a liar. I'll just say you're delusional. You know what? He's extremely happy. And you know what? Uh, yeah. Oh, know yeah. Sure, sure he is. That, Tom. Oh, you sure. That. Why'd you put Aaron on the phone? You could never have Why don't you that. put Aaron on the phone? My husband would never talk to me oh. the way you Why don't you put him on the phone? They talk with respect. See, it just never you stops. No respect. You want Listen to this. All the time. Unbelievable. Where is your husband? And you get your Probably boating your best friend back. right now. Excuse me? Where is your at husband? Work. At work. Oh, he's at work. You're at work. That's yes, what he told he you. At work. I'm sorry. I used to say that, he, too. He not fit no, we're doing mold. production tonight, honey. Not fit your mold. Listen and to you this. Don't fit the mold either. Like I said, I believe you're a phony, and all these. Sure. Well, you've already said it. If you are you done? Do you have any new material? Excuse me. Do you have any new material? Because if you're going to repeat what you've already said, we're going to end the conversation right now. Okay, let me explain this. This fatherless stuff that you're giving to the public. Fatherless stuff? Men, okay, as far as leaving your child and not paying child support, let me explain. When did I say that? Child support. I will pay you one, I will pay you $100,000 to produce a tape of me saying to people, don't pay child support. And you're not funny. I, again, I'm not going to let you finish misquoting me. Until you do you either accept or reject my offer. I'm offering you a hundred thousand dollars cash if you can prove I said what you just said. Hundred thousand dollars. If I can prove what? That I told men not to pay child support. I want to see the I want to see the proof. No, you tell them that they're stupid for paying child support. No, I don't. You think 
again. Yeah, you, know, you have never heard me say that, and I'm not going to let you yell over me and create the impression that I did. I never said it, and you know I never said it, and I just offered you $100,000 to present proof that I ever said it, and you're trying to ignore it because you know that once you uh, take me up on that, you're going to have to produce the goods, which you, you know, don't you have. You wouldn't pay me $100 if I could produce it. I, 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 I Believe me, I, we're regulated. We are regulated by the Federal Communications Commission. If I offered to pay you $100,000 and then I didn't, uh, I, I would be in trouble. I couldn't do that. I just offered you $100,000 and want you to prove I said don't pay child support. Ready? Prove it. You know what, Tom? You know what you said. And someone else will call prove you it. the same thing to show you prove how it. you are. Uh, you are exactly wrong. I have never said that. And because I never said that, and because you uh, cannot produce any evidence of it, and because you've got a big, fat mouth that never shuts up, and your poor husband's probably boning your best friend right now. I, I, I don't want to talk anymore. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. You'll be glad to know when I did the DTB email I got from my girl said, and if I hear the name Tom Likas one more time, I'm going to throw up. <laughs> it's the Tom Likas Show. It's the Tom Likas Show, Likas 101. I am your professor. I'm 1-800-5800-TOM. Thank you for tuning in. Okay. Let's continue with the calls here. Mallory on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, how are you? Great. <laughs> um, I had a question. Okay. Um, I've been listening to your show for a few weeks now, and I kind of like it. Um, I wanted to know what your idea of a perfect woman was. That would be a woman who turns into a six-pack and a sandwich after I have her. <laughs> That's all? Wouldn't you that don't be, think that would no be, idea of a perfect woman at that all? That would be perfect to me. I haven't met one yet, but uh, that would be perfect. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was just wondering. Why? Thank uh, you. Wait, wait, wait. Why what? was that? Were you hoping uh, I was going to describe you? No, I doubt that. No, I don't really think there is one. I kind of agree with your concept with that women are evil, but there is an exception to every rule. Well, I haven't met the one who turns into a six-pack and a sandwich, but if there is one out there. All right, hopefully you find her. Yes. That's the girl I've been looking for my whole life. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. 21 sounds jaded already. <laughs> Another satisfied customer. This is Sean on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi there. Hi there. Oh, man. Well, I respect you. Oh, You're good. A king. Uh -huh. um, I just need your stamp of approval on something real quick before I make the plunge. I've been dating this girl for a while, and she wants to get an apartment with me, but I told her, you know what? I ain't got no dough. I just don't, you know. So if you want me to live with you, you got to cough up the rent. And she was like, oh, that's no problem. I can afford it. And so I was like, all right, sweet. But then I was thinking, hey, what would Tom do? So no. I thought I'd call you and ask you. Tom would get a job. Well, I've got a job. Tom would get a job that pays better. Well, that that probably would help. But, you know, I... I mean, I've got I got a good enough job. I drive a nice car. I just don't feel like spending a bunch of money on, you know, living with a chick. I didn't say she's better living with a chick. What do you live with, mom and dad now? Actually, I live in sober living. Oh, you're in rehab. Yeah, you could say that. What what would you call it? I call it pretty gay, actually, but um, it's it's not Is a it gay a, rehab. It's not an inpatient rehab. It's just where you live with a bunch of other people that quit doing what they're doing, you know? that they, We generally call that rehab. Right, but rehab, by my definition, is people that have to stay at that place all day long and be constantly supervised and taking classes and going to meetings and blah, 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 blah. I just, this is just where I sleep. <laughs> all so. right. And uh, so why, why don't you get a, a better job? Well, in my my trade is I'm a I'm a certified BMW mechanic, but 
unfortunately, since I got a bunch of tickets when I was younger, I I have to wait a couple of years before I can get a job at a dealership. So I had to, I have to settle for an independent shop. And well, why didn't you uh, just go to college, son? I I took a couple of semesters at a community college. That's not what and, I'm talking about. Right, like a four year. Yeah, um, and like study and get good grades there too. Because I'm lazy. Right. And uh, I went for the trade school. So when I own a BMW, you'll be fixing mine, will you, son? Right, as well as mine. Check the wiper fluid while you're under there. Yeah, that's no problem. I got plenty of that. I'll bet you have. But uh, you're I the mean, one I'm going to come to. Current position. I was wondering if it, if you would think it'd be all right since I'm in this position. No, to, uh... no. Really? No. That well, just I... affirms your status as a loser. All right. But what would how would how would I how would you suppose I I would change? Just you know, quit quit my job, try and find a better one. Find a better job, earn more money, have your own apartment. Okay. Stop being lazy. All right. So in the meantime, suppose. Right. If right. you want to go over there and bang her once in a while to her apartment, great. But okay. you leave when you're done banging her, and you don't leave your stuff there. All right. I see. Well, in my mind, I think it's a better alternative to where I'm staying. Well, I'm sure you do. But uh, you don't realize that there's a price you're paying for it. What would that be? She will consider you the boyfriend. Right. Uh, problem? Yes. Problem is, that's when the criticisms will start. That's when she will be telling you how do you live your life. And a lazy uh, substance abuser like yourself, you're probably not used to hearing people telling you what to do and ever listening to it. And that's what you're going to get. Well, I feel I'm a little used to it since because I'm... So you'd like that. You'd like a woman to start nagging you. Not that I like it, but I know how to kind of control it, I guess. Oh, well, Manipulated a then if you're, bit, then, you, know? you see, what, you're never going to get my stamp of approval. You're sitting here arguing with me about this. Fine, move in with it. I can't stop you. Okay. But well, it's not I my stamp of approval. I, it's my stamp of disapproval. Stamp of disapproval. Yep. All righty. Well, I, I appreciate the uh, insight there. Do you suppose you could uh, take me out with a Kobe and Halle Berry, please? Yes, I can. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Oh. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. I've got two minutes with Nick in Portland on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Mr. Like us, how you doing? Great. Uh, I just have a quick. Well, first of all, I want to tell you, I don't 100 percent envy your job, man. You got to deal with some really tough characters, and they should be listening. So they should know your policies, not try to ch charge you on them and give you a bunch of crap for them. But anyway, uh, my question is, um, I've always dreamed of having a family. You know, like having some kids to, you know, pass on the fun and knowledge and. Um, I'm just wondering what your thoughts are, you know, on 30-year-old, pretty successful. Um, I would say um, in vitro fertilization or uh, adoption. Yeah, and I, then I would say uh, no women involved and hire a nanny. Really? I mean, like even if you find the, the woman, I mean, I understand your philosophy that it's never going to be the woman of your dreams. Or, you know, it's very rare that it happens. There's exceptions to every rule. But... Yeah, you know, I feel like I'm there. And, Everybody uh, thinks that. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. But uh, so you, your opinion is not to not to have a woman in the picture. Correct, <laughs> because you'll be paying her forever. Well, what about the kids? You'll be paying them forever. You know, raising them, putting them through school. Yeah, and, but you know what? You will know that the money is going to them. Well, what about this? I mean, she's uh, as successful, if not more, than I am, and um, that's today. That no, well, that's until she has your children. That's pretty much a given, man, considering the field that we're in. So I'm not real worried about ever having to pay her. As a matter of fact, she she's uh, very independent with her money. And what what field are you in? Medicine. 
So uh, you're not worried that she would slow down her work schedule or stop when she has kids? No, we both kind of work out of the house. Um, you know, like we're both the, I, I have dealt with women who had kids. They worked out of the house, and then they stopped working. Well, I don't necessarily mean work out of the house, but we work out of a clinic that, uh, you know, we run it ourselves. And, you know, it's an independent job type thing. Uh, I, I do not see any purpose for you in getting married. There's no benefit as a man. None. The Tom Likas Show.